Oyster Stacks, this is the gem. Mm -hmm. Crown jewel. There's not very many car parks here. No, it's a good thing we got here early because it's completely full now. I but, um, it was full before you were there. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> you look the car? Yeah. Hold on. Let's get it. Be good. We have landed. Oh. What's the best thing about this campsite? Um, ocean views. You just told me. It's right there. The galas. And how many bars? Full signal. Managed to find ourselves a nice little camp spot here. Really nice. Yardy Creek. Yeah. Set up the tables and chairs, mm. cup of tea, bit of popcorn. So good. We're gonna get sunset in a bit too. Yeah. And weirdly, there's like really good internet connection here. Mm. So who knows? Maybe even a bit of Netflix tonight. Living. Yardy Creek crossing. We didn't really know what to expect here. We thought it'd be fairly straightforward, like we'd heard from friends in a little four-wheel drive vans and things, but it was doable. Um, we're in a troopy and yeah, we pulled up to have breakfast before realizing the tide's coming in, we should probably make the crossing before breakfast. Um, and just walking across here, the sand is super soft um, and it's also salt water. So not that keen on it. Um, we're dropping the tyres down to about, about 10 psi all around, just to maximise our surface area. And yeah, I'm thinking low four, second or third gear. Don't go too fast, minimise spray, but but yeah, we'll see how we go. Any luck? Bloody seagulls stole most of the bait as well. Really? It's a big boy, isn't it? You ever seen a lizard that big? It's a meter long. Driving from a uh, Yardy Creek to Windabandy, it's only um, about 20 kilometers, I think, to drive. Yeah, 21k. 21? Yeah. But we 
we've um, we had the tyres down to 10 psi this morning, and I just couldn't be bothered to put them back up because it's still on sand. But um, at 10 psi, you can only really drive that quickly. So they don't really want to risk damaging the tyres or the tyres um, separating from the rim or something. So these drives are taking forever. Yeah, it's long. <laughs> from a window bandy. We had a full moon last night, it was really crazy. The tide yeah. came up super high. We had our picnic blanket just down there, we left it out overnight and in the morning there was seaweed all over it, like the water really came up. Yeah, um, I didn't think it was gonna come up that far, it just came here and just here. Yeah, yeah, almost took away our tables and chairs. But I slept like a dream. We've got a really nice um, camp spot here. Which side are we? 25. 25. And just kind of picked it. There wasn't really that many spots available. And then the camp post last night was like, oh yeah, that's one of the best camp spots. You got it all to yourself. You got this whole private bit of beach. Yeah. And so yeah, true. yeah, it's really good. Um, apart from the occasional boat coming by, it's just so peaceful. Watched a spectacular sunset. Yeah, really nice. Sunset. So cool. It really turned it on for us. Yeah. The clouds are all hanging around there. Yeah. The sun was so bright. Super golden glow. Yeah, yeah. Ali's rushed back to the car because what's for dinner? Sushi. <laughs> Chicken avocado sushi. Yum town. <laughs> One of the latest additions to our um, menu plan. Meal plan? Meal plants. Haven't made sushi before until like a week ago, but it's so good. So, dinner again. Oh my god, I didn't think there was a Japanese restaurant around there. Literally looks like it's fresh from a sushi house. Sushi parlor. Are you a sushi master? Apparently. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet. We'll see how that goes first, but pretty happy with how it turned out and pretty hungry. Past the uh, campsite one where people say you start snorkeling from, because Ali read on Wiki Camp that someone had seen like tens of octopus and, turtles. and turtles, like lots of octopuses and turtles up there. Hey guys, so been in Coral Bay about two hours now. We went straight towards the shark sanctuary, just this section of beach where these juvenile bull sharks hang out. Um, really awesome. But um, I made a mistake and I parked at this beach like so far south off the beach where the sharks hang out. So I've been walking for the last two hours. I'm absolutely f on soft sand. I dropped Ali off um, to walk into town and I've came back to the car to grab her. 
Coral Bay there's a coral formation called Ayers Rock. It's just a super big, bumpy type thing. Uh, I read online that there's a buoy to look out for and if there's kind of a tour boat hanging around there it's probably a good sign. And there's a buoy out here and there's been a tour boat there for a while so we're gonna see if we can get out against the tide in the wind like first. A 400 meter swim <laughs> doesn't look against that fast. the tide. Where we went out for a snorkel didn't actually have the Ayers Rock bommy. Um, we swam all the way out there to the other boat and they're like, now nah, it's not here, it's over at the main part, which I hate. Um, but there was some really, really beautiful coral there. Um, they said this is probably the like better than Ayers Rock um, bommy. Yeah, we're just it was just better out where we snorkeled to than closer to the beach because everywhere we saw coming out from the beach was really grey, really dead, quite sad to see and then all of a sudden it it got really nice like nice variety all this big like floral shape yeah like, like flower floret kind of it was really pretty mm. um, it wasn't much colour but there was a little bit of colour yeah it was nice big trevelli yeah loads, yeah loads of big I think trevelli fish um, I saw one turtle it wasn't a lot of life. Yeah, but it was still cool. Pretty drab swimming out. Like that was the most dead coral I've ever seen. Mm. Until we got out to where the boat was, where it was a bit better. But yeah, yeah, Coral Bay. <laughs> So we went on the manta ray tour yesterday, it was really good. We saw one female manta ray. Um, the day before on the tour they saw one female and two males, like in a chain, because it's mating season at the moment. Um, but it was a really good day still. It was the mm. best weather we've ever had in Coral Bay, like no wind, it was beautiful and sunny. The water, the water, the water super couldn't clear. have been any brighter blue, any clearer, it was absolutely incredible. We only saw the one manta, but I thought it was spectacular it was a female quite a small female maybe like two and a half meters they can go up to four meters mm -hmm. but still huge so yeah. probably the biggest sea animal I have been close to I don't know but then we went to some really cool snorkeling spots um, like some real sick spots that you just couldn't get to without a boat the ashes gap ashes gap uh, blue maze yeah um, we went to like a shark kind of cleaning station cleaning where station. we saw like four um, Grey reef sharks. Yeah, or just, quite close. Just grey sharks. They're about a meter and a half, meter and a half, and they were swimming with their mouth open, so fish would go in and it would clean them and come out of their gills. Mm. Um, so that was interesting. Yeah, it was good. Learned some stuff. Um, good group of people. Real sick. Glad we did that. Um, and right now we've just deflated our tyres. We're doing a bit of four-wheel driving, mm -hmm. heading down to Warra Station tonight. Yeah, Warra Station. And then the next day we'll head down to Nalu and then Red Bluff and then we'll carry on to Carnarvon. Yeah, and I'm quite excited for this track. You couldn't really find much about it at all. I had to just ask some people. Um, a couple of people I've met have done this track. Um, should be a nice mix and it kind of just follows the coast down south. So, But we called the information centre because there's no one manning the info centre here. So we called a lady and she said, I wouldn't do it. Like, don't do it if you like your car 
like our work vehicles do it and they just come back wrecked and so that really definitely <laughs> put me off but yeah, so it's either she was just being a bit dramatic, or maybe these guys I've met are just gnarly guys and like messing up their cars. So we'll see. Stopped off for a little snorkel at Five Fingers. Had to do a bit of recovery. These guys had 55 psi on their tyres, so helping them out. Immediately, I went for the winch. Was excited to use it, but yeah, you know, tried to slam their eye out and um, in the old-fashioned way. What's happened here? It's an awful, awful angle that I have to go on to get through this road. There's one thing Ali doesn't like when we're forward driving is the troopy going on an angle. It's petrifying. Well, we had to move a bit of sand in the end just to make the angle a bit less severe. We had the troopy, felt like a decent angle and the side mirror was um, touching this wall here. But we made it up, well scary. Up to camp for the night. This is a Sandy Point campground. Super good. Um, got a prime spot. Uh, ocean right there. It's been a bit of an overcast day, so I don't think we're going to get much of a sunset. But I'm just quite happy. The wind's kind of died down. We've got the rooftop tent up. Haven't actually used that for like four nights now. So that's always a treat when we can get that up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take out the fishing rod, see if we can catch anything, and uh, pick up the mates coming to join us tonight, so that'd be nice. It's a beautiful night at Sandy Point. Yeah. Real nice campsite, um, super hot day, the sun's back out. Um, and we're making our way over to Nalu. The track from here is very unclear, um, so we're going to see how we go. Right, 
right, so I just got through the lagoon campground and this will be our gate. Um, 4x4 track begins here. And how did you find your day? Your day of forward driving? Stressful as always. Danny's in the driver's seat. Awful. When I'm in the driver's seat, it's, like it's a bad time. We're speeding, we're going around curves and corners and over these rocks. Not enjoyable. Pretty sure I've got a migraine. Well, um, it wasn't as bad as yesterday, was it? No, it was a. Uh, wasn't as bad a track as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. No, but, and the um, sun's been shining, the views have been pretty good. Yeah. Probably a lot quicker, well, quicker than going on the main roads. Yeah, I don't know if quicker is the word, but definitely shorter distance. Mm. Must be nice day in one of these. Tombstones. How many people travel from all around the world for this surf break? That's getting pretty gnarly. Right now, she looks okay. A little bit um, wind affected. But I'm itching to get out in the water, so I might try and have a surf. Here. So hopefully I don't come across any while I'm trying to watch Dancer. Ooh. Just driving out from our camp, we found a little free camp last night just kind of near Red Bluff. Um, honestly, so cool. Like one of the favorite camps, or one of my favorite camps that we stayed at, I think. Um, just like real soft, foggy, uh, 
uh, sand in the car park we camped in, so we had to deflate our tyres and four wheel drive out there this morning, but that wasn't too bad. Um, and just massive waves. I was tempted to go for a surf first thing and then a closer inspection, way too heavy for me. WA's finest flyways coming up. Oh, my God. 